Welcome to GDs. And this is, Mayans MC, Season 4, Part 1. Season starts, with Santo Padre, being under attack by the other charters. It is when Easy learns, that Kanchi survived, and he is the one who is leading the attack on them. The gunfight between them continues through the night. Gilly, and Coco, also make their way back to the club, by sneaking in through the roof. As morning approaches, Santo Padre, is nearly out of bullets. And they all get ready for everything to end. Easy, knowing his brother will be a father, decides to give himself up, hoping that his blood might be enough for Kanchi. As he kneels to Kanchi, we see, that the rest of the club, also gave themselves up, and they kneel beside Easy. Kanchi, lets them know, that he will not spare anyone, as they are the ones who killed his son. And he shoots one of their members. He forces Easy to look as he puts a gun on Angel's head, although they shoot someone else. Before they could execute anyone else, Alvarez reaches there, and is able to put an end to the bloodshed. He lets everyone know, that he built this club, and this was not a way to deal with things. We then get to see a jump in four months time. We get to see Easy exercising, while Angel is living with nails, and seems happy with how things are going. But he misses the son he had with Adelita. Coco, was also able to give up his addiction, and has a stable life with Hope, who moved in with him. But Hope and his daughter, don't get along. Back at the club, Bishop is sitting on VP's chair, while Alvarez, has taken the chair of the president. Members from other charters were also there, and we learn, that in the past four months, Kanchi, with the new pipeline, has been able to increase the profit of the club a lot. We also find, that Santo Padre has been cut off for now, and the underlying tension between the members is quite visible. Alvarez, informs them, that no one has heard from Galindo, and he thinks that the LNG might have taken him out. And thus the only pipeline they have for now, is that of Kanchi, and things will remain the same for now. As they get out of the meeting, we see, that their club is now occupied by the members of the other charters, and no one is happy about it. Easy, gets to meet with Manny, who belongs to the Yuma charter. He lets Easy know, that he is also not happy being there, and he believes that because of all the infighting between them, they are overlooking their enemies outside. Easy, has also been avoiding his dad, as he has not been able to forgive him for pushing Gabby away. Angel, gives him the note his father wrote to him, and advises him to get a dog. Easy, listening to his brother, goes to a dog shelter, and adopts a dog. Meanwhile, the son San Bernardino charters his VP, wants to go after the Mayans, as they crossed in their territory and left a mess, but their president, was not ready to go to war with them. Back at the club, Bishop is still angry with Taza for what he did. While two of Yuma's members harass a bartender. Jess, not willing to take it, decides to leave. And as she makes her way out, she finds a barrel, having a lot of butterflies. As she opens it, she gets quite shocked of finding what was inside it. She shows what she found to her sister. And she takes her to a bar and shows what she found, to the sons. And we learn, that it was the cut of Montez, whose body Taza disposed of, without telling anyone. Easy, later sees the note his father left for him, and it has the name of the person who is looking for him, and it is JJ, with whom he got acquainted, when he was in prison, and he looked out for him. The next day, Easy finds that Sally, the dog he adopted, has destroyed his trailer, and he wanted to return it back. But seeing Sophia, the dog shelter caretaker, rip into another person for giving back the dog, decides against it. Sophia advises him, that Sally is just anxious and scared, and he needs to be patient, as she learns her new surroundings. As Easy returns, he finds, that JJ was waiting for him. JJ tries to insinuate, that people think he got released because he talked with the cops, but backs off as Easy pushes back, and he lets Easy know, that he only came to connect. While in Mexico, we get to see the leader of LNG, El Banquero, interrogating and then killing a man, in order to find his loyalty. As he talks with his sister, we learn, that he did not hire help for their accountant Randall, and now, the US authorities are looking for him. With Randall, having the details of all their offshore accounts, El Banquero, tells Kanchi, to get him across the border, and warns him, that if anything happens to him, he will clip their wings. Kanchi, knowing what needs to be done, asks Alvarez, to get Santo Padre to do the job, so that they don't feel sidelined. Despite the job being risky, Easy comes up with a plan, and was ready to get the same done. Many, also supported his plan, and think that it was doable. Bishop, seeing Easy stepping up, was not happy, and he makes fun of Many and Easy. 
Alvarez, having enough of Bishop's antics, takes the president patch from him. Seeing this, Taza also cuts his vice president's patch. Alvarez, noticing the initiative taken by Easy, gives the patch of VP to Easy, declaring that the future of the club starts today. Randall arrives at their club and was not willing to go without his son. Having no choice in the matter, they agree to take him with them. Easy, Many, and Angel, along with Randall and his son, are dropped off in the desert, from where they have to make their way on foot, to cross the border. As they stop to rest in the night, Angel finds Randall abusing his son. Angel seeing him hurt his son, shoots him. As Easy and Many get there, they were quite in shock. Many, disgusted by what Randall was doing, also shoots him. On the other hand, their father Felipe, gives a blanket to Nails, that Angel's mom made for him. He also helps out Nails, in order to assemble the crib. We also get to see Emily, and she is currently working as a waitress in a restaurant. Emily, is not living with her son, and when she goes to see him, she tries her best to cover her tracks. Her son is staying with her sister Erin, and was quite happy to see her. As Emily prepares to leave for the week, she runs through a list of emergency procedures with her sister, in case she doesn't return. Her sister assures her, that she need not worry, as she knows exactly how to travel, and where to go. While Nestor, took a job as a security guard, where his days consist of patrolling parking lots and chasing away skateboarders. We later see Alvarez visiting him. Back in the desert, with Randall dead, the boy reveals to them, that Randall was not his father, and he kidnapped him. With the job going south, they return back to the club. At the table, Kanchi was quite pissed at them, as they messed up an important job. He wants to know on who pulled the trigger. Angel, admits to pulling the trigger, but before things could escalate, Many defends him, and tells everyone, that he took the kill shot. While Easy steps forward and says it was his call since he was the ranking officer. Kanchi, was quite furious with how the situation turned out, but Alvarez lets him know, that they did the right thing, and he tells Kanchi to let El Banquero know, that they don't run protection for pedophiles. As Kanchi gets ready to leave, he asks Many to return back to his Yuma charter, as he didn't like him getting close to Easy. While Alvarez, shares with the rest of Santo Padre, that he brought in Nestor, as their new prospect. Alvarez, also acknowledges Coco's hard work in staying clean, and asks him to head to Oakland, in order to represent Santo Padre, as they honor their fallen brothers. Easy try to make amends with Kanchi, but he realizes that Kanchi will never be able to forgive him, as he is responsible for his son's death. Easy returns to the table to talk with Alvarez. Easy tells him, that he is not sure why he made him a VP. Alvarez explains to him, that he has a good vision of what the club can be. However, he lacks knowledge of their history and rules. Alvarez, gives him the bylaws of the charter, and wants him to go through the same, so that he could lead the club forward. We also get to see Jess, back working again in the club. But it turns out, that she has been spying for the sons, and she tells them about the event of Fallen Brothers, that the Mayans will be having in Oakland. While Bishop, feeling sidelined, hits the bottles. Easy, knowing Bishop to be upset by him, as he took the VP's patch, tries to connect with him. But Bishop insults him, as a result, Easy punches him, and tells him, that he needs to respect his VP. He later goes to his father's shop, hoping to connect with him, but being there, he finds a postcard that Gabby sent, and seeing it, he decides to return back without meeting his father. On the other hand, we see Creeper, meeting Cody, while coming out of a NA meeting. They seem to have a connection, and later go on a date. Feeling more connected, they end up sleeping together. Gilly, shows up at the birthday party for the son of an old friend. He has a good time catching up and hanging out with his old military buddies. He lets them know, that the MC is the closest thing he could find to a brotherhood stateside. We also get to learn, that the husband of the friend whom he visited, is suffering from PTSD, and has an episode at the party, but Gilly, was able to calm him down. While Kanchi, goes to Mexico and apologizes to El Banquero for Randall's death. He promises to him, that the Mayans will do whatever it takes to make it up to him, and reminds him, that they have a good thing going. El Banquero, responds to him by shooting the TV, and Kanchi slowly makes his way out. In Mexico, we also get to see Miguel Galindo, as he makes a rock wall in an old cemetery near a church. Being there, he has found a friend and a young boy Thomas, who is also hiding in the church along with his father. We learn, that one of the nuns there, is his aunt, and she has been helping him hide from the LNG, who are hunting him. 
later we see LNG's men reaching there, forcing Miguel to hide. But the men were not looking for him. Instead, they were calling out for Martin, the father of the young boy he befriended. Miguel's aunt, was able to get them to leave, avoiding any bloodshed for now. On the other hand, we get to see, Adelita following and stalking a man. Knowing where he lives, we see her going inside his house, and it turns out, that he is the husband of Anna, one of Potter's assistants, who is raising her as an angel's baby. Anna, on seeing Adelita, tries to go for her gun, but wasn't quick enough. Adelita, overpowers her, kills her, as well as her husband, and leaves with her child. Back in Santo Padre, Easy goes to Alvarez's house at night. And after going through the bylaws, he wants him to reactivate the kill switch, as it allows any president to be removed if there's a unanimous vote against them. And he thinks that this will give the power back to the brothers, and can prevent any future infighting between them. He later goes to meet Sofia, on the pretext of her helping him connect with Sally. As they talk, Easy learns, that Sofia, being drunk, was not able to protect her daughter, and lost her, as she climbed out of the bed and went into the pool. She lets Easy know, that she has nothing to offer him. Easy, also concerned about JJ's unexpected visit, goes to him, hoping to understand what he is looking for. JJ lets him know, that he does not want to create any troubles, but he is in desperate need of work, and is hoping he could help him. On the other hand, Emily, walking home from the restaurant, is being followed by someone. They finally catch up to her, and inform her, that her husband is not the one who sent them. They let her know, that they are private investigators, and were hired by Marlon's mom, as she wanted to know the reality of how her son died. Emily lets her know, that she doesn't know anything about it. As the investigator leaves, she lets Emily know, that if she could have found her, if anyone else would be looking, they will also be able to track her. Later, Emily warns Easy about someone looking into Marlon's death. We also learn, that after the sons found the cut of Montez in Mayan's compound, the VP of San Bernardino, was waiting to go after them, and he finally gets a green signal from Chibs. Sons knowing about the ceremony of the fallen brothers, which will be happening in Oakland, plan to go after it, in order to avenge Montez. Back in Mexico, Miguel learns from his aunt, that her mother spent time there when she was pregnant. And as they were talking, they learn that Thomas is missing. And as they look for him, the member of the LNG return, and they toss Thomas's body out of the truck, which forces his father to come out in anguish, and they take him with them. While El Banquero, has stopped the supply of the products to the Mayans. His sister Soledad, is not happy with the same, as she warned him about Randall before, and since, he has stopped the supplies, it is hurting the business, as with Randall gone, they have very limited liquidity, and she blames him for that. But El Banquero, doesn't seems to care. In the States, Gilly, helps out his old captain, Ray, and rescue their son Jacob, from his father, who wanted his help to end things. Later, at various clubs, people started gathering to pay tribute to the fallen brothers. Canchi informs Alvarez, that El Banquero is holding Randall's death against them and won't supply any product. While Bishop, continues to fume about the state of Santo Padre, and seems upset with Easy, meeting and greeting other members of the Charter. Things heat up between the members, and it leads to a brawl. Alvarez, is able to put it to an end, and lets Santo Padre know, that he is thinking of cutting off the cancer. Easy leaves to be in his trailer, and Sophia shows up there, she lets Easy know, that she is a mess, and they start kissing and getting intimate. While in Oakland, the sons, open fire at the members of the Mayans, as they pay tribute to their fallen brothers. As the dust settles, we get to see, that among the fallen, Coco is also there. Thanks for watching. And if you liked it, please subscribe.